like shopping, remember to go onto the NUS website and get yourself an NUS card and collect it from University House. If you like eating at McDonald's, then with your student card you can get a free cheeseburger with your meal or a McFlurry. And also, make sure you freeze any leftovers. Um, I'd say go easy on the fast food. I mean, the amount of times it's Friday night, you sat in your room and you think, I can't be bothered to cook. So you order a pizza from Domino's and what to McDonald's. That drains your money a lot more than you think it does. But if you went somewhere like um, Sainsbury's, Tesco's at Shopping City, got your own ingredients, cooked your own food, it's cheaper for a start, it's healthier, and you get that sense of achievement when you've actually got to cook something. Try to buy your fruits and vegetables at the local market, or you can try the veggie box in the healthy hub, which is only five pounds. A nice way to save money, you can just arrange with your flatmates to cook together. If you're like me and you like to shop, then remember, certain shops do student discount. But even when they tell you they don't, make sure you ask them if they can do a student desk discount. And remember, if you don't ask, you don't get. I kind of try, try to keep the, the loose change. I have a job, keep them aside. Over a period of time, it kind of accumulates and you can take care of some other um, other hidden costs, under costs, academic under costs, you can pay for some handouts, you can pay for some spiritual bindings, you can pay for some one or two things that can, you know, that would ordinarily have, um, wouldn't have happened if you had thrown the changes away. Rather than spending loads of money buying DVDs, you could go to the Adelphi Library and they have many DVDs of movies in stock that you can hire out for free. Um, I would say for the people that um, buy games, DVDs, uh, um, CDs, to once they've used them to trade them in or even still uh, before you buy them uh, listen to an album on Spotify see if it's to your liking uh, play a game demo on Xbox Live before you buy a game or just, like see the trailers of a film before you buy it just to make sure that you're not wasting your money on something that might not be for you If you want to go to travelling by bus or train I would prefer you should buy the tickets six weeks before that's going to give your discount. Hi, another good way of saving money is to get a young person card. It's aimed for student, uh, for person aging from 16 to 26 and full-time students. You can grab any of these uh, real cards from any of the major stations, even in the Salford Crescent, and it gets you one third off from for all the real uh, real tickets, and it saves you lots of money if you spend uh, some time on traveling. It's a really good tip. You might be used to shopping at Tesco's, however, when you come to uni, you might need to downgrade a bit. Maybe start shopping at Home Bargains or Aldi and swap the big brands for less known ones, the much cheaper. If you want to have a great time outside without spending any penny, any pound, you can just go to have a look in Manchester Galleries, they're all for free. And the museums as well. What I find really cost effective is to have one multi tool rather than a load of separate tools. So instead of having a knife, a pair of pliers, a nail file, and a corkscrew that could go missing and separately would cost a lot, um, you could get yourself a multi tool which costs about £4 from the local market and it's in one place and it's not going to go missing. As an international student, you can get yourself an international student membership card from the university house, and for international students, it's free. What are the advantages? It saves you some costs in trips, travels, events all over the UK and it kind of saves you money. I have one.